in 1882, there was a scientist named Carl Friedlander who was the first discovered about Klebsiella pneumonia. He was originally named Friedlander's bacillus, but until 1886, before it was changed to Klebsiella. He identified it as an encapsulated bacillus after isolating the bacterium from the lungs of those who had died from pneumonia. Bacteria can be found all around us and normally found in human intestines and even in human feces but they are harmless to us as long as it did not expose to other organs. Healthy people are less likely to be affected by this bacteria but <coughs> Klebsiella infections usually occur among sick people and people that have a weak immune system that are due to the medical condition or long-term use of antibiotics. It also can exhibit high degrees of virulence and antibiotic resistance once it reaches the body. First of all, I will explain the common characteristics of Klebsiella pneumoniae. Klebsiella pneumoniae is non multibacteria which is cannot move because does not have flagella or cilia. Then, it is encapsulated and also root-shaped bacterium which can be found in the normal flora of the intestine. There is one fact that attracts me which is Klebsiella pneumoniae can be transmitted via contaminated surface. It was spread through person-to-person -person contact, but this bacteria cannot be spread through the air. Then, we go for the important description which is Klebsiella pneumoniae is described as lactose fermenting bacteria. What is lactose fermenting? Klebsiella pneumoniae will appear as a mucoid lactose fermenter on McConkey agar. McConkey agar or Mac is a bacterial culture medium. It was named after biologist Alfred T. McConkey. This medium is selectively and well differentiating agar that only grows gram-negative bacteria. Lactose fermenting gram-negative will form pink colonies while non-lactose fermenters will form off-white opaque colonies. Respiration of Klebsiella pneumoniae Klebsiella pneumoniae can grow on serine as sole carbon source under anaerobic conditions in the presence of nitrate but not in its absence. Serine could be replaced by glycyl glycine, then serine will degrade to pyruvate, acetone, acetate, formate and acetone with formation of nitrite under the conditions. A Klebsiella infection is caused by the bacteria Klebsiella pneumonia. This happens when K pneumonia directly enters the body. This usually occurs due to person-to-person -person contact. Someone who isn't infected can also carry the bacteria from one person to another, and it is not airborne. People have K pneumonia in their digestive tracts. When the bacteria spread to other parts of the body, they can cause a variety of infections such as urinary tract infections. This occur when the bacteria enters the urinary tract. Other than that, skin and wound infections occur when K pneumonia enters through a break in the skin, which can infect skin or soft tissues. In addition, catheters and tools in medical procedures can transmit K pneumonia into the urinary tract, the bloodstream and wounds. Some people develop K pneumonia meningitis from liver abscesses. The bacteria from the abscess can travel from the liver to the central nervous system. K pneumonia often causes bacterial pneumonia or infection of the lungs. The infection of K pneumonia can be categorized into two main categories. The first one is community-acquired pneumonia, which occurs if an individual gets infected in a community setting like a mall or subway, and hospital-acquired pneumonia, which occurs when an individual gets infected at a hospital or nursing home. <laughs>